So you know when you're flying on an airplane and you're sitting on the window seat and you lift it up and you look down and you're flying over a coastline and you see the waters crashing onto the shoreline and you say to yourself, man, I wish I was down there. I wish I could just kind of like swipe my hand across the water. That's what I want in my paintings. And with my paintings, you actually can swipe your hand across the water. I think everyone loves to be able to touch them. I get that question all the time. Like, can I touch it? Do you mind? Can I touch the rocks? Can I touch the greenery? Or do you mind if I touch it? I always tell people, go ahead, touch it. You're not going to ruin it. Touch it, feel it, you know, enjoy it. If I was to describe my art in one word, I think it's tangible. I think everyone loves to be able to reach out, touch it, swipe the water, see the glass-like feeling of the resin, feel the matte texture of the rocks, or even like, the fuzziness of the greenery. I think that's what everyone loves about it. I've always been creative. I feel like my both my grandmothers were really crafty. My dad's mom, she was into knitting and little crafts that we do at Christmas time. So I was always around creativity growing up and I think it was just in my bloodline. My style of work now is ocean resin art. I got into doing that. I woke up one day and I had a really bad wrist injury just out of the blue. And I couldn't even hold my fork or knife or my paintbrush. And I was really bummed out about it. I didn't know what I was gonna do and how I was going to keep creating. So that's where I just dove full force into my resin art because the resin is pouring onto the canvas whereas everything else was so detailed with a paintbrush. Um, and I think it allowed me to still be me and be free and now when I look at my art, I know it's me. I draw my inspiration from drone photography or photos I find on the internet. Even being here in Naples, we live so close to the water, so it's so easy to be inspired by our Gulf Shore. I love that aspect of creating and just picking up on those inspiration in everyday life. Because I think nature is my work, really. What I draw all my inspiration from. I have to have music on to paint. I don't know what it is about it, just kind of like lets your mind escape. It really hits me on a whim. I could be watching a movie like The Shallows and they show an aerial scene of the water and I will have to pause the TV and take a snapshot because I'll be like, I love the green in this water or I love the placement of the rocks or I can be on social media and I like to follow drone accounts. And then with those photos that I save in a photo bank, I will go on my computer and I'll take the deep blue from this photo or the rocks from this photo and I will manipulate it in Photoshop to see the placement that I like of those colors together. And then I hit my sketchbook and I like to sketch out my idea. With resin, once you pour it, you can't really control it. I mean, you can control it a little bit, but it has a mind of its own. So sketching allows me that sense of control. I can decide where I want my rocks and I can decide where I want to put the deep blue and maybe fade it into lighter blue and where I want clear to show the sand. So it is a detailed process that I go through just so that I can help envision what I'm going to create. And then I get started. I like to plan out my colors ahead of time just so that I'm not wasting too much time in the studio. The next step is to resin. I manipulate it uh, the way I want to. Uh, how I want the water. Do I want the water going into the rocks? Do I want the white wash splashing up against the shoreline or do I want it up against the rocks? That's yeah. one of my favorite spots right there. It looks like the rocks are under the water. I love when that happens. In order to manipulate my canvas, I will either tilt it back and forth and get the water to move and a really handy tool is the blowtorch. The blowtorch helps to just move the water more easily when it starts to tack up a little bit. All those little things I can try to control, but not always. You have and you don't have control. You can kind of control where you want the placement of things, but really you have no control on how it's gonna cure. It's a kind of exciting. It's kind of like Christmas morning, you like kind of know what you asked for, and you kind of know what you asked Santa for, but what did you really get? 
you never know really when to stop. I want to keep going. I want to pick, pick, pick. But there comes a time where you just have to say, well, it's done. <laughs> the best advice I ever got was when I had my art in a local, it was like a healing stone store. And I said to the lady, oh, you know, I just don't know if I like how this painting turned out. You know, I didn't want the paint over here. I wanted it over here. And she said, the paint will go where it wants to go and that's where it should go. Kind of like everything happens for a reason. And now when I create, I hear her voice and it helps me to give in to the process a little more instead of, I need it to look like this. I just give in and let it flow where it wants to flow and that's where it needs to go. It's not too hard to let go. Sometimes, you know, I think as artists, we're hard on ourselves but no one else knows your mistake. No one else knows that you meant it to be more aqua than deep blue. And no one knows that you didn't mean to put the whitewash where it was. So I think I'm harder on myself. And hearing that saying in my head helps me to remember just, it's okay. It'll be okay. I think being creative is anyone's outlet, like a therapy outlet or a way to freshen your spirit up a little bit. I think like when I'm creating, I know I'm in my happy place because I'll start tapping my foot and nodding my head and just jamming out. Being creative is an outlet for your emotions and instead of just like sitting in front of a TV or doing nothing, it's just a fun way to express yourself. And that's what I love about being able to create every single day. My pieces are going to last longer than I do, if that makes any sense. Like, past my lifetime, my pieces are still gonna be here and they're gonna be at someone's house or someone's office. So it's really neat to be able to keep a part of me here on Earth. All done? All done, we're good. Thanks for coming by.